Hello everybody, welcome to Zero Mile ADV, a beginner's guide to adventure motorcycling from a true beginner's perspective. And today, we're gonna to talk about a new motorcycle that I absolutely love. It's not an adventure bike, but we're gonna talk about why I think it's so awesome. So stay tuned. So you might be wondering why on an adventure bike channel I'm sitting on an Indian Scout bobber. And it's kind of the opposite of what this channel is all about. But let's start from the beginning. If you watched my last video, you know I've talked a lot about the desire to kind of want to get a Busa and get like a sport bike, something that's fun in the corners. And it seems like the Busa is like the new sport adventure touring bike is kind of what it has become. So my local Suzuki dealer also sells Indians and they had a Busa and I went to go check it out. And interesting enough, I was also interested in naked sport bikes as well. And I've always wanted to ride a bunch and they had an Indian FTR, which is like their flat track race bike. And so I was like, hey, can I demo this thing? And they're like, of course, yep, that's what it's here for. So I took it out and I will say, and I'm gonna do a separate video on this, but the Indian FTR, which is a 1200 CC bike, naked sport bike, did change my opinion on should a beginner get a leader bike? I feel like if you're gonna get a leader sport bike and you're a beginner, probably not. That thing put the fear of God in me and it was like just crazy. And I think I can definitely see how a quick flick of the wrist and if you're not super comfortable on a bike, it could get dangerous. But a whole other video on that later. And after a while then, after I took that bike out, came back, I saw the Indian Scout Bobber. And I was like, hey, I'm kind of interested in cruising this thing. Like I've always wanted to kind of cruise a Harley style motorcycle. I got on this bike and I loved it. From the time I pulled out of the parking lot, it was just, it's just so much fun. And there's something about this long, low look of it. It's super easy to handle. On my, an opposite point of what I talked about earlier, where I feel like if you're a beginner like me and you wanna get a leader bike, this would be a great leader bike to get onto because again, it's 1200 CC, but it's super low to the ground. Like when I'm sitting here, I can easily put both feet on the ground, lots of bend in the knee, like super easy to handle. It weighs over 500 pounds, so you get this thing on the highway, it's super stable, but it just has this like rebel kind of like bobber feel, and I absolutely loved it. I didn't want to get off of it, so I took it back to the dealer, looked at a whole bunch of other bikes. They have a Triumph Bonneville bobber, which I'm going to ride tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, so I have to give this bike back tomorrow. Uh, but I'm going to go ride the Bonneville Bobber tomorrow, which I'm excited about to try that one out as well. So how do I end up from a sport bike into riding an Indian Scout Bobber? Take this thing out, I loved it. So much fun, kind of the perfect around town bike. I love, as I mentioned before, I love riding my motorcycle whenever I can, my adventure bike, my KTM Super Adventure, but it can be a lot of bike to handle sometimes and it's just, I don't necessarily need everything. This thing is so fun. It's small, it's easy to get around, like the perfect around the town bike. And I love kind of the outlaw feel of it. And it's got enough power where it's still so much fun. I think it's close to 100 horsepower. So again, all those people that are out there, like if you're a beginner, only a 50 horsepower bike. This is a 100 horsepower bike. And I feel like if you're a beginner, this would probably be a great bike to learn on. A, they're super cheap. So if you wrecked it, not a lot of parts to fix on it. Um, actually went in when I was renting this, the guy was like, don't even really getting the, worry about getting the insurance. There's like a $750 deductible. Worst thing that's gonna happen is you're probably gonna lay it down in a parking lot and the parts are cheaper than the, the deductible. So it's not really worth it. And so I leave. Camp, I go and I actually ride a whole bunch of other Harleys, which I'll talk about. I rode the Pan America, which I'll compare to my KTM Super Adventure. Finally got to get one, one of those. I rode a Harley Nightster and I rode a, high, a Harley Lowrider S. And just nothing compared to this bike. So much fun. And then I started doing a bunch of research on them. And there's this really cool company called Tank, Tank Machine, which is out of France. And they build an awesome true bobber out of this. They remove the rear fender, put a fat, fatter tire on the back. It looks amazing. I'll put a photo here so you can see it. But I was totally sold on the bobber culture. Like, I love it. I'm super into it. I think it's really cool. If I buy another bike, I'm definitely going to get a bobber style motorcycle for around town, which I, which I think will be super fun. And then of course I have the ADV bike for the long rides, dirt roads, all that stuff, etc. So I go home. My wife and I are running errands, doing the kind of normal day-to-day -day stuff, and I just can't stop thinking about riding this bike. And knowing that I could take it on a longer demo, 
I had to go back. So an hour before the dealer closes, we went back. I got access to this bike for two days. So I got it, or technically two and a half, because I got it on Friday or Saturday night, and I have it until Tuesday morning, which is tomorrow, and I have to take it back. But on the positive note, I get to ride that Triumph, which I'm excited about. And I have been riding this thing everywhere. I absolutely love it. It is such a fun bike. Um, so I will keep you in the loop. Do I get another motorcycle to complement the ADV bike and get a bobber? I really do want one. This thing is so much fun. It is an awesome bike. It looks amazing. I think it's super cool. So yeah, totally kind of sold on the bobber culture. So who knows, maybe my channel is going to change to ADV slash bobbers. I don't know, but I'm really, really into it. I think it's super cool. And so until next time, Stay safe out there and I'll let you know how I feel about the Triumph Bobber and some of these other bikes that I've ridden and how they kind of care compared to the KTM. So stay safe out there.